Hello and welcome to each one of you for this new session of online classes. Without further ado, let's begin. Good morning. So today we'll be looking at uh, the answers for the paper that I was given to you for working. The first question, complete the following by writing either compiler, interpreter or assembler in the spaces provided. Translate source code into object code. This will become compiler. Uh, translate the level language into machine code assembler and stop the execution of a program as soon as it encounters an error. So separate to interpreter. Okay. Next, uh, motion sensors are used in a security system to detect intruders. Name three other sensors that can be used in the following applications. Give a different type of sensor for each type of application. So you have to give different type of sensors. Don't make use of the same sensors in different situation. So for the first one, well, we got only one which will be the light sensor. Uh, monitoring a river for pollution, we, you can choose from a list. You have gas, <coughs> uh, pH, temperature, sensors, controlling. Traffic lights, uh, we can make use of pressure. Pressure pad. Okay. Question three. Convert the following. Convert the following. Hexadecimal number into 12 bit binary. So you have to convert 4A F. So 4 will be 0, 1, 0, 0. A say 10, 10. And F say 1, 1, 1, 1. Part B. The 2016 Olympic Games will be held in Rio in de Janeiro. A time counter to the opening of the game is shown on the microprocessor control display. The number of hours, minutes, and seconds until the games open are held in three 8 bit registers. The present register value are as follows. So, as you can see, the values have been stored as binary in the three registers. So the timer will count down in second. D'accord. Show the values in each eight bit register after the time above thirty seconds after the time shown above. No, it should, it should be noted that uh, the values that I count down. So it's not going up, it's going down. Alright, so we should not be adding 30 seconds, we should be removing 30 seconds. So the value that will be changing will be the minutes and the seconds. So the hours will remain the same, the minute will become 31 and the seconds will become 50 because we are going to move down by 30 seconds. So the answer will be 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1. The second one is 0, 0, 0. And the last one will be 0, 0, 1, 1. Zero, zero, one, zero. So this 
is 105 hours. This one will be 31 minutes. And the last one will be 50 seconds. Remember that these are these values are moving down. Okay, uh, the rather hexadecimal the small value of the minutes register from part B1. So the it will become 1F. 1F would be the value for this part. Next. Nigel wants to send a large text file electronically to Mashuda. Describe how the size of the text file can be reduced. So you have three marks, you have to explain how this can be reduced. So what can be done? The first thing is that the file can be compressed. Okay, this is you're going to get one mark for this part. Second, using a compression algorithm. Now, a compression algorithm will be either lossy or lossless. But you have to define what time of compression algorithm you're going to use, you use, in this case, the compression to be used should be lossless. Okay, so this will give you free marks for this question. This file will be transmitted to Mashuda as an email attachment. Mashuda then stores it in her computer. Explain how checksum can be used to verify that the file has not been corrupted during transmission or data storage. So what happens here, you have four marks, you have to explain checksum. So in checksum, so the checksum The checksum for the bytes is calculated. The value is transmitted. So this value that is calculated, this value is transmitted with the data. At the receiving end, The checksum is recalculated. And finally, the errors shows up in the different checksum. So four marks for four points as described. Question number five. So we have a matching. So matching for question number five. Here it is. So we're going to work this out together. Right. So first one allows a user
to write on the surface using a pen text a drawing are then captured electronically and stored for later years. So this one will be interactive whiteboard. Uh, the next one convert sound into electrical signal voltage microphone use thermal bubble and piezoelectric technology to produce hard copy inject printer use a bright light source and micro mirrors to produce image on a shown to be shown on a wall or screen so this one is a digital light projector converts a hard copy document into an electronic form this will be scanner and lastly